Hello guys, this is Leo from Leo's World, and today I will be unboxing the Xbox Series S. And well, let's get to it. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on these. So this is a lot smaller. You know, it's white and it's got the white controller. It's got on the back, it's got power your dreams. Oh, and it tells you all the specs on the side here as well. So it opens up just like the, the Series X, you can see there. And it says power your dreams. So it's a lot smaller than the Series X. Like, dude, it's a lot lighter. So you can see here, I'll take this out. So it just slides out easy like this. And this is really small. Like, compared to the Series X, this is, this is very light. It's just a lot slimmer, less bulky, and it's really, really small. So this kind of looks like a fat Wii. I don't know if you guys seen a Nintendo Wii. This pretty much kind of looks like it. And this thing is so light. And this can pretty much fit anywhere in any entertainment system. So you got your little manual here. It talks about, you know, all the drives and the specs. And it also talks about controller, but whatever. You got your power cord. You got your high speed HDMI cable. So this is not an ultra. This is just a regular high speed HDMI cable. And it's similar to what came with the Xbox One X. And then again, you got your uh, you got your little guide, your Xbox and Microsoft. You got a little manual. And here's the controller. Uh, pretty much the same thing as the Series X, but this one just has a uh, it's painted white. Now, I actually kind of like this one better. This one looks very nice, very sleek, and kind of Star Trooper looking. I don't know. This is. It's very clean. So right here in the front, you got your power and you got your USB and your sync button. And then on the top here, you got your fan right here. It's a little bit different than on the Series X. And then you got your Xbox logo. And of course on the sides, you got more fanning in here as well. So here you have your USB ports, your ethernet, you have your HDMI out. So this is where you hook up your expansion storage. And then this is your power port cable. And again, no brick. So they always come with batteries, as you can see. But I don't really use these. Again, has the same grip, as you can see on the back. It's a Series X controller. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a really textured grip. You can actually like hear it if you guys can hear that. It's very textured. Same it has on the triggers On the triggers as well it has the same type of grip And the front as you can see you got your Y X A B and of course you got your new d-pad as well So you have your sync button and the cord to charge directly to the Xbox now on the bottom you got your headphone jack So here's the series X And as you can see this is a lot bigger and a lot bulkier as you can see here it's a lot taller it's bulkier it's a lot bigger and i guess yes it is more powerful so this does not have an optical drive but the series x has the um the 4k blu-ray player so they both have the same amd processor but this one's at 3.6 gigahertz and this one's at 3.8 gigahertz so they also have the same amd's graphics card but this one is a four teraflops and this one's a 12 teraflops so they both have gddr6 memory but the series s has 10 gigabytes while the series x has 16. so this has 512 gigabytes of ssd hard drive space while this one has one terabyte with all that power the maximum resolution uh is 1440p at 120 frames per second for the xbox series s and this one can do 4K resolution at 120 frames per second. So it says it also can do 8K, but at 60 frames per second. And then here's the comparison also to the One X. Still, it's bigger. I'm about to say, like, they're about the same bulk size. But this one's a, a lot lighter. It's very light. This one's a lot heavier. And as you can see, yeah, this one's a lot smaller than the Xbox One X. So you can see the size comparison it's a big difference so i hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for other videos bye guys Peace.
Peace.